Hello and welcome back to the channel. So this week we are back with another suburb tour and this week we are touring a suburb that's often overlooked in my opinion. It's right beside your favorite suburbs like Frisco and Plano, yet not a lot of people know about this one. This week we're in the Colony, Texas. city on a lake and is in Denton County bordering Lake Louisville. Like I mentioned, the colony is nestled between the popular Plano and Frisco, which means residents of the colony can enjoy shopping and entertainment in both. And that means you have quick access to Legacy West, the shops at Legacy, the Star, Arbor Hills Nature Preserve, and the colony does have one entertainment venue that you may have heard about. Grandscape. Grandscape is over 400 acres of mixed-use development, including retail, residential, entertainment, dining, and attractions. I could truly do an entire video on Grandscape, and maybe I will, but for today, I want to give you the highlights. Grandscape is home to the world's largest retail furniture store, Nebraska Furniture Mart. Now, Nebraska Furniture Mart is probably where you're gonna get some of your furniture whenever you move here. I personally have shopped at Nebraska Furniture Mart, I can't tell you how many times, and even if you're not necessarily looking for furniture, you gotta go and experience it. It's Ikea on steroids. But my suggestion is to go on the weekdays because the weekends are crazy, crazy busy. But I mean, it is a big space, so you're not exactly bumping into everybody. Another really big sports store is Shields. Shields is really for those of you who like the outdoorsy things, you know, fishing, hunting, that kind of thing. Another iconic feature is the Grandscape Wheel, standing 180 feet tall with 360 views of the scenic North Texas skyline. Another venue is Truck Yard. This is located behind Nebraska Furniture Mart and is an outdoor beer garden and live music venue. It is popping on the weekend, and when the weather is nice, you'll find family, friends, doggos, people of all kinds gathering in Truck Yard. It is truly so much fun. There's a lot of people there in the summertime. They've got live music venues that come in. I've been to birthday parties there. It's a really, really cool spot, so you definitely have to check it out. So now that we've talked a little bit about playing in the colony, let's get into the real estate market and living in the colony. The average price point here is about $4.58, which is a bit more affordable than nearby suburbs with well-known names. The colony has a mix of older, newer, and to-be-built neighborhoods, and as you can imagine, the older neighborhoods with the smaller homes are priced lower than the newer master plan communities. And two neighborhoods that immediately come to mind when I'm thinking about the colony, these are two master plan communities. They're absolutely beautiful. And if you're moving to this area, if you're wanting to look in Frisco and Plano, I think you should check out these. Austin Ranch covers about 1,900 acres of rolling Texas hills, just one mile west of the North Dallas Tollway. Austin Ranch is a master plan community with apartments, luxury homes, retail, and corporate campuses. A majority of this development falls within the colony, while parts of Austin Waters, which is the residential section of the community, falls within Carrollton. Now, Austin Waters is a part of this big Austin Ranch development, but this is the residential single family side of it. And let me tell you, Austin Waters is absolutely adorable. It is by far one of my favorite communities in the colony, and it's probably one of my favorite communities within all of DFW. Austin Waters consists of luxury attached and single family homes, so buyers have a large selection of home styles to choose from that fit their lifestyle. You have European Romantic, Craftsman, Hill Country, Southern Plantation, and Spanish colonial designs that you'll find here. The colony is really split between Louisville ISD and then Little Elm ISD. So regardless of where you are in the colony, that's probably, you're gonna fall in one of those two school zones. Um, and oddly enough, these two communities that we're talking about today fall in different school zones. So Austin Waters, Austin Ranch, all of that community falls within the Louisville ISD, and then the Tribute actually falls within Little Elm ISD. So I will link all of those school ratings down below. I typically use greatschools.org and the Harvard School Review as my other source, and I, I feel like both of these are pretty trustworthy, so, so you can check out these ratings, see why they scored the way they did, and just get some more information about the school ratings down below. So the Austin Waters community is really split up into two different phases. The first phase is you have Austin Waters. This is where you're gonna find a lot of those custom homes. Um, the architectural styles are very different. It's a really cute little community. And then the second phase is actually split 
Um, there's a creek that l runs along these two phases and splits them up. So once you cross the creek, go over the bridge, you enter Creekside at Austin Waters. And this community is really nice too. Um, it just looks a little bit more consistent. So the architectural styles, the layouts, the color scheme of all the homes is a little bit more consistent, if you know what I mean. So both of these phases are really, really popular. It just kind of depends on what you like and of course your price point. Notice that the homes in Austin Waters, because they are a little bit more custom, they have a higher price point than some of the homes in Creekside at Austin Waters. But regardless of where you live in this community, whether you're at Creekside or in Austin Waters, you have access to amazing amenity, including a community pool, a playground, a green belt, and walking paths. So I quickly wanna show you about three different houses and housing types that you can get in this neighborhood. So this first one is one of the more expensive properties here in this subdivision of Austin Waters. And this one actually backs to a creek. So you have a little bit larger of a lot because of that. You've got five bedrooms, five full bathrooms, and you're a little under 5,000 square feet. So this obviously looks very custom. It's nice inside. You've got a pool in the backyard. All of this adding to that price point. So this is another option that is in that same community of Austin Waters with the custom homes. This one is a little bit smaller, so you're right over 2,500 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and you're priced at 610. So a big difference in price point here, but again, you know, you're getting a smaller product and you don't back to a creek. But just kind of wanted to show you what you can get for what in this, uh, in this community. Now the last one that I do want to show you is one that is in the other section of this neighborhood. This home is currently on the market. It's 915,000, five bedrooms, four full bathrooms, and this is 3420 square feet. gigantic master plan community and it is one of a kind so I'm excited to talk to you about this one. The Tribute is an award-winning master plan community situated on a secluded Lake Louisville Peninsula in the colony and it has beautifully landscaped canals that flow through the development creating this perfect outdoor retreat and parts of this neighborhood actually back to the lake so you do have a lake view. The Tribute covers about 1600 acres of master plan lakeside golf and resort community. Now this neighborhood is quite large. There's a lot of different little sub neighborhoods within the large neighborhood of the Tribute. I was able to speak to a gentleman that lives at the end of this development in the Waterford Point community. And I told him I had this YouTube channel and I have a lot of people who relocate to the area. And so did he. So he relocated from California to the colony. He has a granddaughter that he just wanted to be closer to. He now lives within the colony, lives within Waterford Point, And I was asking him kind of what he liked about this community and, and what he thinks about Texas so far. And he said that he loves the tribute community. He specifically loves his little neighborhood of Waterford Point. And he said they've got a really awesome community center and they host monthly events. So it was pretty easy to meet a lot of the neighbors. And he was saying, that the only two things that he really really misses about living in California one the climate he said he really missed the weather there it was pretty warm all the time and here in Texas we do get the cold you know we are going through a cold front right now and it's pretty chilly outside um, and the second thing that he mentioned was the topography the rolling hills the mountains the beaches and um, it's pretty flat here Pretty flat in Texas. Not a lot of hills, there's not a lot of topography, but I think he probably landed in the spot that has some of the most of it here in DFWs. And you do have the lake, which is awesome. Um, in that specific community of Waterford Point in the Tribute, some of those homes do back to the lake. It sounds like they're working on a marina there. They're building a whole new com um, condo community. So lots of stuff coming up in the Tribute as well. So 
The amenities in the tribute include two iconic golf courses, over 10 miles of hiking and biking trails with scenic lake views, relaxing resort style pools. They have multiple pools across this community in different little neighborhoods that they have, pickleball courts, kids splash park, and gourmet dining at the country club. With three sides of the community being lakefront, residents can also enjoy water activities such as kayaking, boating, fishing, and more. And as far as the schools go, you actually have two schools on campus. You have a middle school and an elementary school. And I say on campus, meaning within the tribute community, you have two schools in the neighborhood. And I will link both of those down below um, with the school ratings for this area. So you can kind of check those out and see how they're rated, why they're rated, um, and get all your questions answered about the schools. So I quickly wanna go through a couple options that you can purchase here. A couple different housing types, different price points, just to show you what you can get here. So you have new construction, you have pre-owned homes, you have big homes, small homes, lots of different price points. And they also are working on having condos um, come as well to the neighborhood. So lots of different options here. So let's run through three of these just to give you a feel. So this first one here is actually new construction. It was completed this year in 2023. You're right under 2000 square feet, three bedrooms, two full bathrooms listed at 575. So this second home is located in the Somerset section of the Tribute. You're at 2,700 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and priced at 725. So this home is actually closer to Waterford Point. It's on the end of the peninsula, closer to the end of the peninsula, just so you kind of know where that is. All right, and the last one we're gonna look at is priced at 1.39, so we're just gonna call it 1.4. You've got five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, you're a little over 4,200 square feet, and this is actually a new construction completed in 2023. And this home does back to views of Lake Louisville, which is really awesome. You do have a smaller yard, but you do have views of Lake Louisville. So, pick your poison, you know? Now, I am gonna show you one more in this price point because, you know, 1.3 new construction, it is pretty hard to find. Okay, so this is one more. This is priced a little over a million, right over 3,600 square feet. And this one actually backs to the golf course. So this is what this looks like. This was new construction 2019, uh, 2019 build date. Again, you do have a smaller yard, but you back to a golf course. So again, you can't get everything. You just kind of really got to pick what's important to you. Those are three, actually four different houses that you can get from the Tribute. Different price points, different layouts, totally different styles. Um, so there's a lot to choose from here. And if you're interested in new construction, again, feel free to reach out to me. would love to get some more information in your inbox um, and call me if you got any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for your continued support. I love making these videos for you and giving you all the resources uh, to tell which suburb you really like and which one's gonna be a fit for you. And if you are relocating to the Dallas area and you need help or have questions, please feel free to reach out to me, email, call, or text. I would love to help you. I relocated to the area too and was a chicken with my head cut off. I had no idea what was what, and I really wish that I had someone like me here in Texas, boots on the ground that could give me more information. So I would like to be that for all of you. I have people reach out all the time from all over the place wanting to relocate here. Um, and it's my pleasure to help you guys. So thanks so much for your support. Reach out to me if you have questions and I will see you on the next video.